Hi everyone, I'm Donna and in today's video we're making a paper CD sleeve. You will need a template to make this. We're going to be making it in a miniature and a full size. The miniature is so cute. When I was making this CD sleeve up, the template, uh, because I've got a pattern making background, I had a really great idea. It is a new technique. You're going to love it. I'm going to share this idea in the next video. It is just a step up from this one. So if you want to get an early peek at this idea, it will be available soon in my Facebook group. The template will be available in the group before I go live with it on a video. And my Facebook group is Junk Journal Ideas. So pop on over there and join. As soon as it's available, you'll know first. So I do have the template available for you to download. You can print this out, trace it and just cut them out. I've got the full size one as well. And I've just cut this circle out just to do a test run, just to see uh, what the best tools are for cutting. So it's just like a, a um, an artist's craft knife. It's got a very pointy end to it. But other than that, you can use your um, bigger X-Acto craft knife and just cut around. And you've got your the um, bigger template there. Do the same on the smaller one. I've got a demo of the scan and cut. I'll show you that right now. Uh, and then once you've got that cut out, all we do is go ahead and put the window in. So just check out how I do the scan and cut. You just send your FCM file to your scan and cut machine and let it cut it out and look how quick this is. Okay, so now once we've got all these little bits and pieces cut out, all we need to do is put the window in. So there's a window in both of these pieces. I've done those ahead of time. And what you can do with these is looking at the miniature one. This is a two inch CD sleeve, this one. The cutout window is a one and a half inch cutout. If you've got a one and a half inch punch, use that and just pop that in there and cut that out. So if you've printed this out, just cut around the outside of the template and then just pop that in there and cut out the circle. Now for the window, you need it a little bit bigger because it's got to go past the actual CD sleeve hole. So it's one and three quarter inch. So that's a one and three quarter inch punch. So you can make yourself a template just get yourself a piece of recycled card, pop that in there and cut yourself out a template, right? And that's for your window. You can use a square window if you want to, which is a little bit easier to cut. It just is entirely up to yourself. And that will just, because it goes on the inside, you can't see it. So it doesn't matter whether you use a one and three quarter inch circle template and trace around your window, your clear window, or the square, doesn't matter. I'll show you the round one, and I'll use the square one on the big one. Right, now when I make mine out of the clear window, I just use my recycled packaging. It's, it's very fine, and that's all you need for a CD case, something that's pretty fine. So this sort of, you know, these label packaging, they're clear, packaging is perfect because it's really really fine and you know like the packaging that come on 
your rulers and stuff like that. That don't throw ever throw that out. Put it away and and uh, recycle it. The same with this one. These little um, stick it notes. When you pull that out, these sort of packaging, they're the ones I mean. So have a look through your things, and you'll you'll find something there that you haven't yet opened. That packaging is perfect for this. I'll peel that up out of the way and put your template on there. Now I'm using a permanent marker to go around it. I'm just tracing around the edge of my template. That's it, it's pretty quick. These are so easy to make. You can double it up if you like. When it's um, double packaging, you, you really do end up doing two at once anyway. Like that's double packaging. And just cut around. It doesn't have to be a perfect, perfect cut because it's on the inside. But make it as neat as you can. Right now, this black marker will come off. This is the um, isopropyl alcohol spray. Put that on a scrap piece of paper and just get it off. I usually take it to another table. It's got a sheet of glass on it. It's much cleaner than doing it that way. And see that? All that comes straight off. And I'm going to use the art glitter glue. It dries clear. And you don't need a lot because it'll squish out. And just put a very light amount of glue around the edge. Once you place this down, don't move it because when you move it, it'll squish it out into the center of the, the thing. So place it pretty accurately when you put it on and squish it out that way. Don't squish it in towards the center because that's where you want your frame. And whatever you put in your frame, you will see the glue if you're pushing it back in that way. And you're ready to fold. So we'll do the same on this one, but we'll do the, the square just so you see the difference. Now the square size I use on the big one is a four and a half inch square size. So we'll do that on this one, a plain white. I'm just using ordinary everyday copy paper. I think you can get it on sale sometimes for $3 a ream and you can make tons of these if you want to. You can also use this paper here. I made a few of these in the green. They come up pretty good in the, in the green. So on the other side, the paper is white. So if you didn't have any white paper and you've got plenty of this very fine colored paper that's got a different color on the other side, you can go ahead and use that. I've got this packaging come off some very big 12 by 12 dividers. Mark my four and a half inch. This is doubled. So I am cutting out two pieces here. Has got a fold in the bottom because it's the bottom of the bag. And I'm just going to cut that tiny bit of a fold off and clean those black texture marks off because I don't want them showing through my white paper. I'm going to make two full size CD cases for you too. I'm going to just pencil mark the corners of these. So there, there, there and there because that way when I bring this back, this back onto here, I don't move it and put glue back into the center where I want my, my pictures to go. So I'm not gluing anywhere near them dots. I'm coming back in right inside those dots and then I'm coming around my circle. I'm staying away from the edge of the circle 
because you just don't need to be near the edge. It does flatten down. You don't need a lot of glue. Now I'm only coming to the corners here again because it, it will just all spread out everywhere. Now I'm going to place my, pa my sticky paper there. It's, I swear this stuff shrinks. I swear it does. So if any glue comes out, you've got to get rid of it because this is the inside of your envelope and you don't want it to stick to itself. So I could have come in much further and just used those, but then when you start to slide things in your envelope, you don't want these corners coming loose. So if you do feel that you've got any out, just put some of your powders around that edge. Oh, this is just a, a stamping powder. You can use um, anything that you've got that will repel that ink, uh, that glue. Instead of just using the white one, what I've done on this one is I've just used a printable that I bought off Etsy. Okay, so let's put the window in that. Now the windows always hide from me because they're clear. When I put my pencil marks down, I use a very, very light touch to the paper. And that's so it rubs out a lot easier. So now we're ready to make this up. So we turn it over because I'm folding. This is going to be the back. So I'm just going to put my ruler across there and pick this up and put a fold in it. You can use your score, but because it's paper, it doesn't need very much at all. You can just fold it. Fold up those side flaps. Okay, so we'll just glue these flaps down, the side pieces, on the outside. This is just our plain white CD case, uh, the CD sleeve. I like to put a bit of glue on the bottom curvy part and then just not much there. I don't bring it right up to the top because it's higher than that. So then just whack a bit there, fold it over. If you need to trim that down, just if it's too far out, you might need to take a slither off, just depends on your printer. So because that's shorter, just a little bit there and there and then some there. And you only need to fold over the top flap and that's your plain white one finished. Now I'll quickly show you what, what you can do with the plain white one. I've just got a black and white image. Remember the old hourglass figures that well, back in the 1900s, and I mean early 1900s, that is a natural figure. That is amazing. Gosh. So that there fits in. So you just got to fit it. This one I just shortened it enough just so that her head fitted in the circles. This is just an, an image out of a book. If you use your images directly from the book, you're allowed to do that. The classic hourglass figure, it was the invention of the American illustrator Charles Dana Gibson. And those who forced their bodies into this shape were known as the Gibson Girls. Camille Clifford, I guess that's who she is, the owner of this particular classic was a Danish born actress. I'd glue one or all of them, just depending on, again, how you're decorating your journal. So I'm not going to colour this one, I'm just going to leave it black and white. And this one here, I don't know what I'm going to do with this until I fold it. Alright, so that looks pretty. You can see that in a journal. What you could do here too, if you wanted to sew that in a journal like a page, just make this flap longer. Just say you had a 12 by 12 sheet. You'd um, cut your template out on your cardstock, 
and put that to the edge of your 12 by 12 then trace around to here so you trace that to there and stop trace that to there and stop and then just move that up and trace that around to there and then just join that up that would give you a longer flap and then you just stitch that into your signature and that would hang out of one side of your pages and this then would be folded like this and it would turn out to be a page that would only be a small page but it still would be interesting because it would have this on it this print on it it would look really nice I think okay so let's ink this one up this ink here is nearly run out and I like it nearly run out because it just gives me that nice feathered look I'll, I'll show you another tip here too I find that when I'm using just paper it bends a lot on me so I have made myself up a template so it's just a piece of recycled card and I'll just pop that in there now that's firmer for me to just go around and much easier to distress ink the edges if this was a, a new ink pad that would really stain into that quite severely and that would look good with no matter what you put in it okay I'll show you how to make one of the minis now you make them exactly the same way as a large one start by folding up the back towards the front fold the side flaps in and glue them down once they're pressed into place just fold your flap over and get some distress ink and distress the sides and if you want to you can bring a bit of the color in towards the center of the sleeve for this one I just used a, a flower book and which has got some beautiful illustrations in it I just used this one and three quarter inch template and I know that will fit inside the mini CD sleeve then I just find one of these that you haven't made up yet put that over there so you know where it is that you want your flowers where they look the best think about there do a very light circle just so that I can rub it out I might make it a bit bigger than what I need rather have it too big than too small cut that out rub out those pencil marks being careful not to bend my paper and that's perfect going to cut out some text from the page so I'll make sure that it's going to fit in here first. Make sure I'm happy with the look. Looks pretty good. And I'll do a little fussy cut and I'll put that on there. Probably this one. Do a quick test in case I've got to move it. Perfect. So there's plenty of ways that you can decorate these little miniature CD cases and they just go in little tuck spots you can put them into anything you could even use a piece of washi tape to close up the back so hang around now check out this slideshow 
and I'll show you all the different ideas that I've had decorating and using different pictures to put inside these CD sleeves. So don't forget, pop on over and join my Facebook group, Junk Journal Ideas. I'm Donna, and bye for now. Stars, I wanna take a trip to Mars, nothing can